Hello and welcome to my historical recipes. Cabbage, different kinds of cabbages, have been known in the Mediterranean since antiquities. Apicius, ancient Roman cookbook author, gives us several recipes for something, well, that can be translated as, um, as cabbage sprouts. Now, what might that have been? I am using for this recipe something that is still quite common here in southern Italy. It's called cima di rapa, you might know it. And, uh, well, it looks like, like little broccoli kind of flowerlets, but that are surrounded by big leaves. With that, the small stalks, the leaves, and those flowerlets are edible. Of course, if you don't have cima di rapa, you can use broccoli as well. The other ingredients I have for the dish that I chose today um, is a leek. I have some olive oil, of course, garum, that you can, as usual, if you prefer not to use fish sauce, replace by soy sauce. I have some raisins, some green coriander. I have uh, some toasted pine nuts, I have a little bit of spelt, and as spices I have pepper and um, cumin. Now, first of all, what I need to do is to cut those Shima into pieces. I mean, the main idea is to, to leave the leaves whole, also those little flowerlets, but to get rid of the hard lower part of the stalks, which would be simply like this. I can then cut somewhat smaller pieces. Sometimes if the stalk seems a little thick, I can make a crosswise incision in order to adjust the cooking time. The pieces are usually left quite big, a little rough. I like to cut the, the big leaves into slightly smaller pieces. We take the leek, about half a leek should do. I take the white part here and I cut this also into slices. And I brought some slightly salted water to the boil and I'm going to add my chimedirapa now. Like that. and uh, I leave it to boil for 12 minutes. During the last two minutes, I add the leaves. I'm dressing the boiled vegetables now with some garum or soy sauce if you prefer. Of course, olive oil. Not be missing. Black pepper. Remember, we are rich Romans, we can afford some black pepper. Some cumin. And now for this version. Uh, Apicius proposes to serve it with spelt. I have already pre-boiled that spelt in a little salt water. Simply. To which I also add some olive oil. There's no way to do without olive oil here. And coriander grain. Cilantro. And in the end, we sprinkle it with some roast toasted pine nuts. And if you like raisins, some raisins. And this is the way that Apicius proposes to serve 
Well, Chimeridapa in this case, as I said, you can use broccoli as well. There's another version in which instead of spelt and raisins and pine nuts, he uh, adds green olives that are, though, boiled with the, with the vegetables together with them. Well, this is uh, an ancient Roman, very nice vegetable dish. Bon appétit! Thank you.